Alright guys, you know how much I love the Daiwa Presso Ultralight Rods. So, the other day I saw the Daiwa Presso Real 50% off. And when I saw that, you know, I tried to fight it. I, I fought with myself nearly 10 minutes, but at the end I just couldn't take this torture anymore and I went on and bought it. And of course I got a few small items uh, with it as well because if you bought from Japan you know that the shipping costs are pretty much flat so you might as well get a few other small things uh, with free shipping so what I did was I found their small jigs I think they are called edging jigs and pretty much bought one pack of all the different models that they, they had for edging Drag checker, very curious to play with that, okay? I, I have my theories about how much drag I'm, I'm using, but it would be interesting to test it precisely with this. You know, all of these jigs, believe it or not, are different, okay? I just ordered one of pretty much everything on the website because they're like one or two dollars and you know, I can make a lot of reviews with these things and maybe I can even like some of them enough to use them um, in the future. Because, you know, as much as I love trout magnets, the, the actual lure, I'm not a fan of the trout magnet jig head. I mean, the shape is perfect and the hooks are alright, but they are not very sharp. And the Japanese they do have the sharpest hooks by far Daiwa Mix and Shimano they make a lot of jig heads I don't know why in, in the United States nobody is using them but if you're interested in this I will make detailed reviews close-ups with a bunch of these we will go fish them for crappie and whatnot I'll tell you my opinion of whether or not they're worth the price but right now uh, the video is not about them The video is about this guy here and There is something about JDN tackle. It's always a little bit more sophisticated finesse I don't know why the the good stuff never makes it in United States. I mean We have money United States and think about the bass fishing community they have money by the way I don't have a single reel smaller than 2500 size out of 65 reels not even one and uh, I have never purchased a reel uh, smaller than uh, 2500 and this is a 2000 well I think technically it's um, yeah it's 2000 but 1000 and 2000 is the same size okay the only difference is the spool is a little bit bigger but uh, I can feel something here soft back much better than the Shimano Vanquish I got look at this tiny handle I don't like the tiny handles but you don't get to choose somebody told me you, you get more sensitivity with the small handles I don't know I don't like the the resistance I don't like it all right you know I'll be honest with you even somebody like me who makes reviews I bought this reel without checking the specs I don't know how many bearings are inside I don't know what part of it is Zion what part of it is plastic I just knew I definitely want this reel no matter what Okay, so when I saw it 50% off, I felt my, uh, you know, my left side started to go numb. I thought I was going to get a heart attack. So, let's do the ultimate test for fishing reels. Okay, take it out of the box and spin it without any load without even line on it okay
Listen to this. Now this is some good sounding drag. Someone told me that this is uh, this was Daiwa's flagship trout reel. Not the flagship reel. Exists is the flagship reel, but the flagship trout reel. Okay. And this thing is beautiful. Yep. I'm never selling this reel. I will fish it a few times. And give you my opinion. Hold on a second, okay? These are my three reels with the lowest uh, resistance, okay? Or lowest startup inertia. Shimano Vanquish 2500 and granted all of them are 2500 and this one is 1000 size so perhaps it's not a fair it's not a, a fair comparison because this reel needs to spin a larger rotor and the handles are different so take it for what it is with a big grain of salt but I felt this reel has almost almost no resistance I mean it was like turning air Because when it comes to high-end Daiwa and Shimano reels, guys, stop talking about smoothness. They are all so smooth that I don't believe people can detect a difference in smoothness. I mean, the gear contact is, is, is about perfect by now. Even cheaper reels like Shimano Sahara, Daiwa Exceller, even those are, to me, perfectly smooth. Man, this Vanquish. You know, when I had this in my hand, I thought it's lighter than the Vanquish, but... Maybe it's the handle. And granted, this one still has grease, and I haven't fished it, so like I said, with a grain of salt. A few grains of salt. And even here, it's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell which of these are lighter and uh, the other one is Daiwa Luvius which is also 50% off guys on Digitaka come on go get you this is uh, pretty much uh, Daiwa Theory is a knockoff of Daiwa Luvius but right now Daiwa Luvius costs the same as Daiwa Theory so there is no time there is no point of buying Daiwa Theory except that it's actually more beautiful than the Premier Reel but yeah this one has very very low resistance as well god damn it it's it's very hard to tell but i would say you know i would give both of these like 10 out of 10. uh and this one maybe maybe nine and a half out of ten also ridiculously low resistance you know ridiculously low startup inertia this uh, Vanquish, by the way, I've been using it on every trip and I do love using this reel, but one day I will probably get rid of it. I mean, it's not one of the reels that I can say I would never sell because it doesn't look like a $400 reel. I mean, I don't know. It looks like a $100 reel. So for me, looks are... Too important I, I know it shouldn't be the tools and whatnot but okay look at the guard on this reel okay look at the guard on the Shimano Vanquish just I don't care if you know much about reels which one looks more expensive to you okay immediately the guard on the Daiwa Presso looks expensive this one looks chromey and you know appealing to different kind of customer okay look at all of the accents i mean this is a piece of of art as much as it is of 
you know a, a fishing tour this is just I mean I really admire the Daiwa engineering uh, whoever is designing them okay they got all the bearings the technology the reels they can make it smooth but somebody out there is going and making these reels just amazingly beautiful. Daiwas are more beautiful than Shimano's. Okay? On 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 average. I know there are some good looking Shimano's out there. By the new the new Shimano Stratic FL. Ugh! Chrome, the whole thing a chrome. How are you gonna find the chrome rod to pair that reel with? I don't know. What were they thinking? But yeah, I think it's safe to say I haven't fished it yet. I will make fishing videos. I'm going to Arkansas this week again. But when I come back, I will make fishing videos with this reel and I'll give you my impressions. But right now, of course, it's perfectly smooth. This is not something. The resistance is really, really low. Despite the tiny handle. Okay, the drag. That is so important for me. Very high pitch. To be honest, it's not that vibrant. Well, comparable. Neither of them are. Like I said, the, be the best drags I have heard in my life belong to Okuma and I think Quantum. The cheaper the reel, the better the drag. This is something Daiwa and... Uh, Shimano need to think about. This is the 2017 model, by the way, limited. I don't know why this reel is clearance so early. It's just two years old. But I didn't ask them. Hey, made in Japan. This is only my second reel made in Japan. Everything else is a spinning reel. Everything else is made in uh, Malaysia. Let me give you one more shot before I let you go. Here it is, guys. Look at this. This is the 6 foot Daiwa Presso, weighs only 60 grams and the reel weighs 160. So the whole combo is supposed to weigh 220 grams. That is spectacular. Even though the rod is actually pretty cheap, I mean, this one is I think 50 bucks. Look at the match of the copper accents. I guess this is copper and this is copper this is dark copper I mean this thing is just amazing this is why I got this guys I don't need another reel but these things are just I don't know Captain Dave what do you think did I need this reel or not hey by the way look at the very few reels have this matte finish here most of them are chrome well, at least the cheap ones. But look, even this finish matches with this finish. And with this finish. All of which are chrome on the Shimano Vanquish. I can't wait to get back from Arkansas. Put some super thin line on this. And catch some crappie.